Let me ask you a question, Carmela. Yes. Carmela Soprano. <laughs> okay. Um, if you were to text one of your guy friends, let's assume they're single, right? And you said, hey, would you like to uh, come over tonight and hook up? You know, you could put it in, you could phrase it more organically. Do you think they would say yes? I think they'd be a little weirded out that I was asking them to hook up because I have, uh, I've made clear boundaries with all my guy friends and I've never hooked up with the people I call my best friends because then they probably wouldn't be friends in the future. But do you think if given the opportunity, some of your male friends would hook up with you? I think if given the opportunity, probably yes. But also, like, we've all defined boundaries to where that just won't happen. So are they really friends, though, if given the opportunity, they would hook up with you? Um, I mean, talk to any guy. Like, I mean, any you could ask any guy to hook up with any girl, and he may say yes. And, like, I just think that I don't know it's this is a weird question I don't know how to answer it I I know that I wouldn't hook up with my best friends because I don't want to so I think that's the only thing that matters can I ask you a question have have you ever had a friend that turned into something more you started as friends and then at some point down the road you hooked up or you ended up dating them I have, um, well, I, I have like, I did start hooking up with an old coworker, but we stopped hooking up and we're still friends. We're like friends on like a text basis. Even worse. <laughs> no, but even like worse. not even, but it's nothing sexual. It's like, like we talk about like our day or something. Well, I would say this, if I was dating a girl and she was, she had a male friend who she previously fucked, that's an issue for me. I'm going to tell her it's me or that guy. And she, she might pick that guy. And I'm like, see ya. So I was put in this situation a lot because I've never hooked up with any of my best friends, but I'm really close with my friends and their girlfriends have to know that we're really close. And it has been a problem in the past for my guy friends, but we've never crossed a line. So it's like not a real problem. So it's been an issue for your Guy male friends. friends who have girlfriends. Yes. It's an issue for their girlfriends. It has been because, I mean, we're close. We do everything together. But like, we're also like... You guys go over to each other's house at late at night. I mean... Watch movie, cuddle, but like platonic <laughs> cuddling. We don't cuddle, but like they would come over like late at night and hang out. But like, I, mean, I sit on the other side Yikes. of the couch or something. <laughs> Imagine like, okay, let's say you get married. You have okay. a husband. Do you think that that would be appropriate behavior when you're married and you have a husband? I would hope that my husband would join uh, would join my friends group let's, so he'd be there. Let's say he's out of town. Uh -huh. Are you hanging out solo, one-on-one, -on -one, late at night in a private setting with another guy? I think I'd have to set clear boundaries with my husband about what he's comfortable with, but like he should also trust me to know that I wouldn't hook up with other people if I'm like in a committed marriage. It's not even necessarily about what you would or would not do. Uh -huh. It's just the appearance of impropriety. Well, if that's something that he's uncomfortable with, then that's something we can talk about. But if, okay, so he says, Carmela, uh, what's, it, what's your husband's last name? Carmela, are you, are you going to hyphenate or are you taking his last name? <laughs> hyphenate. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Haram! You're, t you're hyphenating? Yeah. Who here is going to hyphenate if they get married? Well, I have to keep my name for acting. So you're going to hyphenate or you're going to keep your name? Probably going to keep my name. Okay, f that's fine. What about you? I'm going to change my name. To your husband's name? Yeah, I'm taking their name. Okay, so hyphenate. See, here's what I don't get about the whole hyphenation thing. If everybody hyphenates, then by the... Okay, if two people with hyphenated last names get married... Then they got four last names, and then their kids, then you got eight, and it, what, is that exponential? 
Is that, is that exponential, boys? 8, 64, 100. I don't know what the fuck it's after that. So I'm Asian. I'm half oh, Asian. Huh? And uh, so Filipinos. Wait, hold on. You're... you're uh... <laughs> How you doing? Um, Vietnamese? No, Filipino. Bah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, well, so culturally, <laughs> I my middle name, I have a second name, and then my middle name is my mom's maiden name, and okay. then I have a last name. So I have four names already. So I'll just add another one when I hyphenate. But aren't aren't those first names? Yeah. So I have a first name, a second name, a middle name, and a last name, which I'm not going to say out loud. <sighs> okay. That's, okay. So we're talking about friendships, right? Okay, so going going you're, back to that. Yeah, you're my so my friends also set boundaries as well. So when for example, I had a friend, his girlfriend was like not really happy that he had a lot of girlfriends. I'm not the only girlfriend. Um, but we were really close and because she didn't like it, we I think only saw him once a month. So they also changed those boundaries so that it just made them happy. So I feel like I would also accommodate if I had to, but I mean, nothing's going on. <laughs> I just, okay, so, so you're, you're married and you're inviting your male friends to your house late at night to watch a movie alone. That's a bad look. That's a real bad look. I, I Are guess. you poly? Are you polyamorous? No, I'm straight. Are you monogamous? Oh, monogamous, yes. Okay. 